welcome to another edition ng uh, ating bro show and uh, of course right now eh, we're in another place. Ganun so, talaga. Ganun ganun tayo. Talaga. Big time tayo eh. Ha? Big time Big tayo. Big time tayo. Ang dami lang nating uh, kaibigan na <laughs> small <laughs> time na papakausapan. <laughs> right now, we are doing the show in Livestock Restaurant and Bar along Sergeant Esguera mm -hmm. in Quezon City. Ha? So kung mapapadaan kayo dito, you better check this place out. Mm -hmm. Mamaya ko titikman natin yung mga Ano ba 'to pang vegetarian? Livestock eh. <laughs> oh, pwede kasi yung yung actually yung pigs na at, ano eh uh, vegetables kinahain. Ah, uh, so pwede din maraming gulay rin diyan. Ha talaga? Oh, Mamaya oh, subukan natin. Mamaya susubukan natin 'yan. Pero wala na naman, no? Wala. Alam mo, ano, I'm 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 fed up. I'm fed up. Mukha nga hindi, hindi, hindi yun. <laughs> Uy, pumayat na ako. Ah, ha talaga? Ako, huh? I'm fed up. Why? Kasi ta laging tayong dalawa na lang. Kailangan nating mag-upsize. Kasi may mag- ano? Mag-upsize tayo ng, uh, ng uh, guest, uh, guest co-host. Kasi eh, parang meron ano, tayo. Like, ano, like yung, yung, yung regular, ganyan, yung upsize, malaki. Ganun, ano ba? Bit, yung dati, si ano, bitin eh. Regular lang. Oo, oh, regular lang. Ngayon mag-upsize na tayo. Okay. Eh lahat naman, upsize. Hindi ako naniniwala. Baka? Lahat naman. Hindi mo na ako mabibigla kung gano'ng ka-upsize ka yan. Hindi ka mabibigla. Hindi ka mabibigla. Tatawagin ko na. Oh. Baka magulat ka. Hindi, maliliit rin rin yan. Ba Sigurado kasi ka? dati ganun lang naman. Gaganun lang naman. Alright. Hanggang di... Malamang na sa akin siguro mga ganito-ganito oh. lang yan. Once I call him, you stand up. Okay? Ano yan? Presidente? Hindi, para makita mo ah. kung ano yung upsize. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Let me call in our guest uh, co-host. Ito na. Hmm. Small time. Okay? My small... Small... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Leah McMorrow of uh, Barakubol. Oh, believe ka na? Huh? What? Sana unlimited rin tayo. <laughs> welcome, welcome, Liam. Thank you, thank uh, you. To the bro show. Uh, thank you for taking time out to uh, to uh, join the bros. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you've been uh, you've made a tremendous impact to the league, uh, especially to your team. Yeah. Uh, Barako, and uh, right now, I mean, you're... People are calling you cha uh, championship contenders. Yeah, I mean, hopefully. I mean, <laughs> playoffs are a whole different beast, right? It's uh, regular season. Everything changes for playoffs. Everyone's, uh -huh. you know, there's bonuses involved. Oh, and yeah. Guys yeah. Are, that's, that's the best part. Guys that's are, you know, part. hungrier and they're running harder. And, that's you know, right. So uh, it's all about gaining the momentum going into uh -huh. play, uh, playoffs. So as long as we can get, uh, we got two more games. So yeah. two wins would be good to go no, in. No, no. <laughs> Uh, maybe no. <laughs> yeah, just one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe one. Just, just one. Just because, one. Yeah. Because your other game, you'll be playing Pure Foods. Right. right so you just be content with one, one only, first. One only. <laughs> Two would be good, well, you know, but yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, talking about the playoffs, before we go into the PBA playoffs, let's talk uh, uh, about the NBA playoffs that's going on. Right. I, I'm sure you're, you're also uh, yeah. watching that. It's, it's tough to watch because we always have um, morning practice, right? Yeah. So the guys are checking their phones when we can't. <laughs> but. Uh, usually miss the live action unless I catch it later in the day, but I mean, uh -huh. it's been crazy. I mean, either team, people are always like, are you Cavs or are uh -huh. you Golden yes. State? And I'm like, any t two teams are in the finals, I'm, I'm fans of both, right? Uh -huh. Overall, I'm a bigger Cavs fan, but... Uh, why, why, why? Uh... Just because of LeBron, man. He just, mm -hmm. you know, it's just amazing. Uh -huh. You know, I just, every time I watch him play, I'm amazed by something he does. Like, yeah. Not a lot of players, I mean, Steph Curry's the same though with the shots. It's, crazy but I think Cleveland overall is a tougher team uh -huh. so I like I like, I like I like yeah it's good. I mean it's just a bunch of guys that are just gonna do whatever like that like Della Dova showing mm -hmm. he'll do oh, he'll yeah. he would rip his own arm off to win a That's ring right, right now right That's so right. guys like that I, I really respect uh, players but do, like that. Do, you, do you see them as a tired team? I mean, you know, that's what people are yeah. saying about them. I saw some stat where uh, when they've had two days off of rest, they've won like 15 and 0. Uh -huh. And then when okay. it's one day, now it goes it's way down. 15 and 1. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah, yeah. but uh, yeah. Yeah, a tired, maybe, maybe. Uh -huh. It's tough, man. You got to close out on a lot of shots with those guys. You know, Clay Thompson that, and. You know, traveling right now because the format of the. Uh, the a lot right, of people are traveling forth, in, in, in the forth. game or. <laughs> oh, yeah, that too. Le LeBron's doing a lot of <laughs> a traveling bit, too. A little bit. There's a lot of people making okay, fun of that. Here's a question, Liam. Let's say the Warriors win. Okay? Right. Who should be the finals MVP? Can it be or should it be? LeBron, if he finishes with a triple double average, and they don't win, and they don't win, no, I don't, no, I think you have to give it to the winning team because you know he's getting a triple double, but someone in some way is uh, beating them. 
feeding them, right? Yeah. I was thinking, as soon as you said that, I thought you were going to mention something about Green. Like, say uh -huh. it's not the oh, two okay. superstars, but yeah. maybe someone like Green or Della yeah. Dova. Igudala, maybe. Igudala is Igudala stepping case, up. Yeah. 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 It's the role players, right? So, uh -huh. well, it's not all about the super superstars all the time. That's right. And right now, well, uh, Cleveland's down. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In the series, but. Back you, against the wall. Yeah. You think going back home, I mean, they can rise up to the challenge. I mean, it's going to be tough, not only physically, but mentally. Right. Um, are they over dependent on uh, LeBron? LeBron? I don't think so. I think I think with they're in a good spot with their like, it's not a good spot. You never want to be down, but with yeah. the back against the wall going home, he's got a lot to prove. I think yeah. he'll have a I know he'll I know he'll have a good game. I think he's gonna have a monster game, like mm -hmm. a just. But take he hasn't over. had monster games yet. Forty points. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I mean like a monster <laughs> game for him, you know, like a, actually today I was hoping that he would be the first player to have a 40-20-20. Oh, because he had a chance. At the end of the half, what did he have? 22, 8, and 8, or 28, and 8? Yeah. After one half. But uh -huh. crazy. he slowed down. Yeah, yeah. How about, what, what's your opinion about, I mean, being a big guy? I mean, you're, what, 7'2"? Right, are you seven right. Two? Yeah. What's your opinion about these coaches involved in the finals going small ball? It's tough. It's <laughs> got to be tough because I actually know Moskov a little bit. Like, we yeah. trained together yeah. uh, oh, at oh, really? uh, Impact 2. Yeah, so okay. I know he's, like, He's probably not upset about uh, that they're playing, but I mean, as a big guy and they're playing small ball, it's, it, it, yeah. it's tough. I mean, how does it affect? They're like, saying small ball, but they're playing with green, and uh, uh -huh. those guys aren't small, man, but uh -huh. it looks small compared to, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I don't know. It's tough. <laughs> it's tough. I always want to play, but if, 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 if that's the strategy that's going to make the team win, yeah. then. Yeah, because, you know, the difference before, during the time of Olajuwon, right. and he had Ewing, of yeah. course. You have uh, Duncan and, he, of course, Shaq. Yeah. I mean, it's like you couldn't win a championship without, without, a, big without a big guy. Without a, yeah, a, a force in the middle, yeah. Yeah, and right now they're breaking that notion. They are, they are. Right? That's not good for my, my future <laughs> job. <laughs> no, they can't. But I, I heard that you've got another future in mind that they're offering. Or some people are looking for a different future in mind for you. Like uh, going the Philippines way. We'll talk oh. about that later. Okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's right. And it, it's going to be good for, mm. for us. Oh, oh. <laughs> but are, are, you, are you still pursuing your uh, NBA dream? Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, I know that there's been some talks with the Clippers and stuff like that. So they just want, want me to finish up here. They're not, we're not talking about anything about Summer League or anything. You but can go before our game. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. No. then come back. I, we, we can pay for your ticket. Originally, they wanted me to go and come back, and, and it's just they've realized that it doesn't really make sense. You know, we'll go after this is completed and do uh, the workouts and all that stuff. So. No, it's okay. But yeah, uh, still very much alive, you know? Because yeah. with a coach like Doc Rivers, I mean, yeah. he likes kind of guys that are more, you know, not so polished, but uh -huh. will work hard to get to, you know, yeah. to, to do whatever they need to do for the team. So uh -huh. I like that fact. Uh-huh. That's, that's good. Oh, that's pretty exciting stuff. Yeah. Um, also, some things going on. I mean, you're, you've been in the Philippines for how long? Uh, about six, six weeks. Six so. weeks yeah. already. And right now, I mean, the country, we're, we're uh, uh, also uh, participating in the Southeast Asian Games. Right. If you're um, reading the uh, newspapers yeah. and all over on TV. And right now, Jason, what are we doing in the um, in the Sea Games, uh, have you have you seen a couple of clips from the Sea Games? Yet? I saw a couple. Uh, but right now um, we've improved from the last Sea Games finish. We finished seventh before. Now we're going to finish sixth. Uh -huh. But it, you know, is that enough? Is sixth? Well, of course, you'd like to uh, to be champions. Uh -huh. Right. And the only time now we become champions <laughs> is when it's oh, held here. Oh, that's <laughs> Singapore. Muntik na mag champion. Huh? I don't think it'll be enough for Singapore. Uh, oh, okay. All right. But that was a scare also when, when our Gila's team uh, oh. played Thailand and almost, yes. almost uh, lost. And, uh, but good thing that uh, we pulled it out. Um, of course, with the help of uh, Marcus Doughtit, mm -hmm. uh, was our naturalized uh, Philippine. That Troy played well. Oh, Troy, yeah. The, uh, Kiefer. Kiefer played well. Almond played well. Yes. But, but you know, people, a lot of people are saying, oh, no. Thailand is already um, uh, closing in on the gap. Yeah. Because in, in, in the Southeast Asian region, Liam, yeah. it's always been the basketball belongs to the Philippines yes. right. by, 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 by two arms length. Right. Uh, from now, the next. now, there was the first time that, um, in, in a long while, that there's been a 
a team that was that had enough time to to get together that actually almost lost to Thailand. Right. Yeah. yeah Thailand looked like they had a big lineup, right? Yes, was that yes. the game last night? Yeah. Yes. Yes, yeah. yes. 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 I yeah. saw the very beginning of it, and then I went to the movies. But uh, <laughs> okay. yeah, they looked pretty big. They looked big were, overall. Were, were you ever, ever a part of the national team? No. 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 Oh, okay. Because I started to play when I was 20, and then mm. immediately I, I went to the U.S. So it was like four you years there. You started to play. Basketball. But yeah, yeah. When you were 20. When I was 20, yeah. So that okay. kind of, I mean, it's the same in every country. They do like the cadet teams and all that stuff. So, but I never went up through their system. So uh -huh. I've actually never heard anything from there. Are you there. a Canadian or U.S. citizen? Uh, Canadian. Yeah, Canadian. Canadian. Yeah. Where in Canada? Toronto. Oh, Toronto. Oh, yeah. Okay. You, you know somebody from Toronto? No. Yeah. Vince. Who? Vince. Vince Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. Vince, Vince C. All right. That's Toronto. I mean, oh. the, I heard fans that are really crazy about their Yeah, game. they love basketball. They're we the North. Basketball. Yeah, We the North. Yeah, yeah the whole movement. Yeah, uh -huh. man. Drake, uh -huh. the artist behind it all. And mm -hmm. so, yeah, it's cool. Wow. It's cool. Just imagine. It's seven, exciting. Two and, you know, mm -hmm. was a part of, a, of their national team. Right. And, and what is it? The last two uh, picks are Both Canadians. Canadians. Yeah, the, uh -huh. the two num last First two overall. number ones. Yeah. Wiggins and Bennett, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, anyway, there's also another issue here um, with regards, you know, Aside from basketball, volleyball is a, is a popular sport mm -hmm. here, especially right. women's volleyball. Yeah, I noticed. And uh, you notice the volleyball players or yeah. you notice the sport? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, when, well, when I was on Sports 360, the, yeah. there was two, two of the girls were on oh, there yeah. Uh -huh. with, with me and Dylan, so I got uh, acquainted with them. Oh, okay. Oh, Are oh you no, still that episode, that's not very... Not a lot of people talked about that episode. Oh, huh? that Dylan, Dylan episode? <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're kind of upset with that. <laughs> okay, and then, so we, it's the first time we participated in this Sea Games, Southeast Asian Games, in women's volleyball mm -hmm. in quite some time. Yeah. And there was a bit of controversy yes. with regards to one of the opponents that yeah. we uh, played. One, one of the, one of the um, athletes or members of the women's team of Indonesia, her name's Aprilia Santini Manganang. Um, the Philippines, and I don't know if it was only the Philippines or some other countries as well, wanted to request a gender test. Oh, wow. Okay, uh -huh. Because uh, you see it in your screens, the picture of uh, Aprilia. And, um, masculine. Mm. Masculine, and you know, it's a little. got a little bit of um, uh, hair going there. And, and is it right? Okay, let me ask you this. Would it be, and, and, and Richard as well, is it right for us to have asked for a gender test? Given, you know, because um, from what you see visually. Right. Yeah. I mean, I, I think it's okay. I mean, it might hurt her feelings. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, yeah. I don't well, see anything wrong with that. I remember something like that was going on in track and field, too. I can't remember totally the, the country. Track, right? Yeah, but they were saying, I think it was some African girl they were, were saying was oh, okay. just too, you know, too broad shoulders, uh -huh. too, uh -huh. too much uh, m musculature, you yeah, know, for yeah. a female. So. Yeah. But she ended up being female, so it just mm -hmm. sucks for her ego, you know. Yeah. Oh, everyone thinks I'm a man. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. I think it should have been done before the uh, game started. Uh -huh. it, was it done? I don't, know, I don't know. I don't know. Because I, from what I've read, Jung, the, that athlete already represented her country mm -hmm. in other tournaments, and she was already given men's or women's. Women's. Ah, women's. <laughs> women's. <laughs> and was already given clearance Clear, uh, in, uh, in other tournaments. So uh -huh. maybe they should just include it in like the, they probably drug test everyone, right? Yeah. They yeah, should yeah. just include a little, it's probably yeah. simple to throw or, that in there. Or you yeah. drop your pants up. Female. Like that. <laughs> 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 so we'll see. Yeah. Uh, so, well, that's one of the controver uh, controversial issues mm -hmm. uh, in, in uh, the Southeast Asian oh. game. So, but, you know, we failed to land a medal in, in women's volleyball. No, yeah, we failed to land a medal. And, and, but, pero, ano, ah, good fight, ah, yung yeah. women's natin. Ah, um, uh, it was a learning experience. Uh -huh. Remember, uh, volleyball is only um, really getting full attention, what, the last couple of years. Uh -huh. So it's going to take a while before the growth um, is able to manifest in medals, yeah. diba? But it's pang ano yung diving, bro. Oh yeah. Oh diving. diving. Uh, there's another clip that was shown on uh, where was it shown on YouTube? Bro? It was. Or? It's in no. It's in Yahoo. Yeah. And this, we'll show you guys while you know, while while we're talking. There were we had a Filipino pair uh -huh. of um, uh, synchronized, divers. Synchronized by no, not synchronized. They, diving. one by one. Oh, okay. We'll show you one All by right. one. But you know, they, they platform diving. Oh, for, for, and for they didn't actually. 
Uh, they were they were they gave they were given a zero, basically for their diet. Did they make, did they make it in the water? They made, <laughs> I mean, they made how it, do you get a zero? They made, they made it to the water, but uh, a flat on their back. Oh uh, yeah, they oh, missed so, it. They missed yeah, it. They missed yeah. it by uh, by oh, wow. much. And um, yung mga some of the netizens, medyo ano parang tinira sila, de ba bro? They, a bit uh, uh, were were not very kind to to the to the Filipino athletes and. and and on my end, parang ako parang um, you shouldn't get ma- you shouldn't be upset. Uh-huh. They're representing the countries. Right. If they fail, they fail. Mm-hmm. But they were good enough. Yeah, they must be the best out of all the, the yeah. other divers. Yeah. So. Yeah. But who were who were the who gave them ne- more negative comments? Was it like uh, Singapore netizens or? Di ko na na, no. di ko na mabasa, bro. Kung uh, okay. side. Eh. Kasi I, from one time I, I I saw that and then parang it's more of people from Singapore ridiculing our athletes uh-huh. uh, because of that mm. those, those failures but kaya ba nila yung dumadai pagbaba may hawak na yeah, na ano na on the other dito. end on the other end if you can um, um, feature or, or magnify mm-hmm. successes and yeah. and uh, kumaga yung talagang great Positive. efforts uh-huh. positives why not i mean why why can't you why would you would you feel bad if they show the other end the extreme yeah. the other extreme ako lang yung yung sa akin so yeah, you know, if the other countries want to ridicule the divers, none of the our uh, uh, co-Filipinos should, because uh, they're they're the best. Sila na yung pinakamagaling natin, yeah, eh. yeah. de ba? Sila kaya bakit sila ba yung napili sa diving? Yeah, hindi, yeah, hindi nga nila kaya, de ba? They, uh, they can't they can't match the talent uh, of these people. Of course, it's it's always easy to criticize. Oh, everybody is yeah, an expert. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right? Everybody thinks they can do a better job than you. Yeah. And you know it's, it's difficult until you're in their shoes mm-hmm. and, and you're in, you're doing that stuff. So I mean, a lot of things happening. Yeah. Uh, but but in the end, we congratulate the Filipino yes. athletes uh, yes. uh, moving at least a step higher in mm-hmm. terms of the medal standings. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe some people will ask more. Some people will, might not be happy. Yeah. Um, but in the end, you know, personally, the congratulations go go out to the athletes. Yes. Ko ano outside when it comes to the Governing agencies and what have you, we don't know that. What we know is when you've been there, when you joined the Southeast Asian Games, that you've given it your all. Mm-hmm. Congratulations. Congratulations. And right now, we'll take a short break. And uh, when we return, yeah. more importantly, we will taste the food in this Are you? Wait, wait, Liam, <laughs> are you hungry already? Starving. Okay. All right. All right. Let's do it. Then. So uh, we'll show you what livestock has to offer, and we'll discuss more stuff with Lee and McMorrow. All this when the Bro Show returns. Okay, welcome back, bros. And uh, well, the food is ready. Sweet nut, eh, bro. Uh, man, sweet nut, yeah, yeah. Candlelight dinner. Candlelight dinner. Grabe, oh, yeah. you have. Uh, you know, this is the specialty, uh, Liam, of this restaurant, Livestock. Mm-hmm. The crispy pata voted as number one in mm-hmm. Metro Manila. Mm-hmm. Wow. Uh, and we'll ask one of the servers to uh, to show us how it's served. Sige nga, uh, pakay ano? Biro mo, parang. Popsicle stick lang yung uh, gamit, ha? Para ba anong mangyayari dyan, bro? Huh? Yeah, popsicle stick, sir. Uh-huh. Popsicle stick? Only, yeah. Huh? Huh? Yeah. See? But oh, wow. you see, it's very crispy. Yeah. The skin is very... Wow. What? And, and uh, uh-huh. inside, it's very tender. Mm. Wow. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Mat- really matulis good. yung popsicle stick mo na yan, ha? <laughs> popsicle stick neck. Yeah. So, see? Wow. That's the attraction of uh, their it's crispy tender, pata. Man. Smile ka naman, smile ka naman. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bati ka, bati ka. <laughs> okay. Ano, anong pamilya? Livestock family. Ah. Livestock family. Oh, eh, wala na yung mga livestock family na pupunta na dito eh. Oh. <laughs> and this is, uh, of course, the belly. They made the three kinds of chicharon and uh-huh. the bangus, bangus belly. Tapos may soup pa tayo. Soup Thank pa. you, ha, livestock. Wow, ha? grabe. Okay, go ahead, uh, Liam, while we're... Dig in, dig you want in. some rice? Jay, ang patungo na sa kanya yung uh, rice. Habang ano, habang... Uh, you can do the talking while we do the eating. <laughs> yes. You like yes. garlic rice? Yeah, yeah, yeah garlic, garlic rice. rice. Okay. So Liam, I hope you don't mind. Uh, we, we continue with our discussion while we're eating. Yeah. Okay. Oh wait, have you tried what what foods have you tried here in the Philippines? Um, a lot of the adobo, like the beef adobo, no chicken rice, adobo. Right, sorry, sir. No <laughs> rice. <laughs> diet. I'm on a diet. Um, adobo. I mean, yeah, uh, adobo connects. Yes, and, like yes. a lot of 
Bistek Tagalog. A lot of stuff in the mall. I always go to the mall to eat, right? So uh -huh. I try to try something here and there. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. And you like it? Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and I heard they made you eat balut. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't like the balut. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't like the balut? But uh, I promised them that if we win the championship that I'll eat a full balut. Uh, wow, okay. Mm -hmm. So that'll be the bittersweet part. All right, go ahead, go ahead. Try yeah. this uh, crispy pata. Yeah, that's uh, that's uh, get it for you. the number one in Metro oh, Manila. Thank you, thank you. And you can, you can put some of the sauce. You like soy sauce? You like and soy sauce yeah. here? With a bit of uh, spices there. Uh, uh, Liam, I mean, a lot of um, the, the Filipinos don't get a chance to go all the way to Toronto because it's all the way in the east of uh, Canada. Right. What is because um, that's where you were born and raised? Oh, no, I was born in, in Vancouver, but I grew up in Toronto, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, uh, in Vancouver, there's a lot of Filipinos. Uh, yeah, also, uh, same with Toronto. Same there's, in yeah. Toronto. In my high school, elementary school, a lot of, like, I'd say 80% of my friends are uh -huh. Filipino, yeah. Mm -hmm. How different is the food, let's say, in um, uh, Toronto compared to the Philippines? Uh, well, I mean, here there's actually more American restaurants, I'd say, <laughs> than we have in Toronto. Uh -huh. So. On that level, that's kind of weird, but uh, Toronto's very multicultural. I think it's the most multicultural city in the world, I think. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Or at one point it was, but... So, like, you can get a taste for whatever you want. Like, mm -hmm. you can go to get Indian food or Filipino yeah. or yeah. Chinese. Uh, uh -huh. One of my favorite restaurants is called Sino Pino. So, it's kind of like a... Pino. Yeah, it's a Chinese and Filipino oh, okay. uh, mm -hmm. okay. mixed dishes, right? Wow. So. Is it run by a Filipino? No, it's run by Chinese. Oh, yeah. Chinese. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh. Because Chinese well, Filipino. No, because right. most of the Philippines is being taken over by China. <laughs> yeah, they want to they want to occupy us. And they mix like some Indian like Hakka dishes in there mm -hmm. too. It's just very spicy, it's good. Uh, good, okay. good food. Go ahead, taste yeah. it, taste it. Yeah. How about I know uh, slice mga tong uh, ano ba to? pork belly? Crackling pork belly. Uh, it's also good. Sige. Uh ano yung, y Sige, dito na lang, slice, sa labas, oh, balik slice, mo na lang. Slice na lang niya. Um, Liam, you, earlier you mentioned that you actually, the first time that you played basketball was when you were 20 years old. Right. W yeah. Why all of a sudden, oh, maybe I can play basketball. Well, yeah. where, did, where did that um, um, realization come from? Well, like, like growing up in Toronto, it's a big hockey thing, right? Like only as a, like, recent had basketball come up in Canada ice like hockey, all yeah. that yeah so I started playing ice hockey when I was three uh -huh. I played soccer volleyball too but uh mainly hockey like hockey for like the club teams like not mm. like you know so all the way through high school but I have two older siblings two brothers right uh six three and six four. Oh. so okay. I was in the 12th grade and I was six five so I'm like I'm, I'm bigger than both of my big brothers you uh -huh. know I'm I'm pretty sure this is it this is all I'm uh -huh. getting I'm six five you know yeah, yeah. And uh, but two, but in between that, so 18 to 20, yeah. I grew seven inches. Wow! So everyone, what did you do to grow like that? Yes, yes. Because we have know to tell our, our friend. Yeah, because you know our regular uh, co-host here. Yeah. You know that's his big problem. Yeah. He didn't grow. He needs some some vertical yeah. help. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it was. I mean, seven inches in two years is crazy, right? Mm -hmm. Like you only hear of it sometimes. Like Anthony Davis, kind of same thing, yeah. similar. We don't take any medication. Did you stay no, in the just... bathroom a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, it was it was weird too because I didn't have any growing pains. You know, your knees yeah. might get sore. Nothing it was just. It's like I was overnight just turning, just growing, right? People kept, I, how tall are you? And I kept saying 6'5". Yeah. Like, no, bro, I'm 6'6", six, six, and you're taller than me. So, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and then I, I went to check. Oh, you're six seven and a half now. Oh, you're wow. six eight. You're six mm -hmm. nine. Wow. So my girlfriend and my mom were like. You just just try basketball. Just and see. you never picked up a basketball before then. I mean, we, we we did, but even in the streets when people are playing, it's it's street hockey. It's not uh -huh. street basketball, so uh -huh. right? So I mean, in gym class, I played a basketball game, but mm -hmm. it, I was like, man, like this isn't. I don't know how to. I don't know the rules. I don't know. Yeah, is it kind of a world record to grow that? <laughs> it might be in one in one summer yeah. or uh, or yeah, two summers. But two it was, summers. That's it seemed like a lot, but it's like. Just went from like I, I was seeing people that I knew from high school, uh -huh. and they, oh, they didn't they didn't recognize me. They're like, uh -huh. "You're not," you know. Well, half of it is that I changed high schools. I mean, I went to one school for two years and then finished at another school for two years. But the people, especially from the first school, because mm -hmm. I was like six foot when I started, like yeah. grade nine, and then so. But you were already built. I mean, big. I mean, uh, no, it's pretty skinny. I was skinny. I really put on a lot of weight when I first went to uh, the U.S. for college. Like, uh, oh, okay. I think I got there and I was 235, but by the end of that red shirt year, I was like 250, 255. So uh -huh, it was like, uh -huh. it was a lot of weight. It was a, a very good weight training program. The, where did you go to, um, did you get to play 
um, university ball in, in the United States yeah, in the NCAA? Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I went originally to Marquette, like where Dwayne Wade. Yeah, and, in uh, Chicago. Yeah, or, 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 uh, or Milwaukee. Mil uh -huh. So I got there the same day. Like me and Jimmy Butler were the same class. Like we got there the same day, me and Jimmy. Um, but I had to redshirt because I played the one year in Canada at the college there. Uh -huh. So I, I had to sit out. And then the next year, I, I broke a bone in my foot. Mm -hmm. So I sat out that year too for medical reasons. Then I transferred to Tennessee Tech. So I played two years there at Tennessee Tech. So only two years. So I started to play one year in <laughs> Canada, one yeah, year. Yeah. Then I go and I can't play for a year. So it's like, okay, I just started to play and now I'm just practicing. And then I, I had to take another year off. So it was like, I only so played one year out of three now. Yeah, yeah. And then I transferred and played two. So three, three years of college really. And Which then, were your uh, first three years of basketball. Basketball. Yeah. And then I played in the D League, but only for five games. Left halfway through the year and started just training. And then played in the NBA Summer League that summer. Uh -huh. So, I mean, I really haven't played a lot of games. Like, every, the more games I play, I'm just going to keep... Just learning yeah, and learning. Just, yeah, wow. Because I'm maybe at, like, around 100 games played right now. Total. Total. Uh -huh. So... I mean, a lot of guys probably hit that number when they're under 10, right, or something. That's so. why you're really ex excited to play. Yeah, I, I love to play, man. They just, like, I'm like a kid in practice. Like, all the guys are tired no. at the end. And, you know. <laughs> I mean, I've never seen I mean, a guy your, your height I mean, would, and be that active all yeah. over the floor yeah. I mean, and run fast. I try to. Sometimes I get caught watching, like uh -huh. just watching, because I'm like, it's still exciting to me to be in the game, and you know, I got to stop myself that, uh, from, from, from getting caught standing still, so I always try to move. But I think like a lot of the agility and stuff might have been translated from hockey, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're not going to find some seven foot guys that know how to skate. Like yeah. it takes a certain amount uh -huh. of coordination to do that. Like I skate, I ski, uh -huh. I you know I kayak. I do a lot of things that I'm guessing yeah. other big men don't do. So uh -huh. rock climb and mm -hmm. you know. Wow. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, taste the food. So good. Jay, good. when did you uh, start growing? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, dapat tatanong natin yan dyan, bro, si Miko eh. Ah, diba? hindi pa nga. Sa kanya, he's still waiting for his uh, opportunity to grow up. Yung growth spurt niya ah. kasi, yun na yun eh. Yung ah. nabot ng 20 years. No, because me, uh, hmm. I don't know, I think I started yung tumangkad. I mean, mga probably second year high school. Mm -hmm. After second year high school, elementary, also average height, I was in front of the line. Eh. Pili, uh, pipila so, one time lang yung growth spurt mo. Yes, but even in college, oh, uh, you were when, still, yeah, I, because I, uh, what do you like it? Yeah, the pork yeah. belly. There, yeah. There, there's yeah. some gravy right here. They've been really yeah. good so far, yeah. And then um, in college, I entered college, try out the I was only about 6'2. I was like 2 inches and a half, ka pa. Oh, that was 3 inches. 6'5 ako ngayon. Eh. So, oh. uh, yeah, it, it is possible, but not as much as, as yeah. Liam, though. 7 inches. Ako ano eh, ako baliktad bro eh. They had a grade six point guard, grade seven central, grade uh -huh. first year point guard. So every year, uh -huh. you know, you have your, there would be guys that would grow faster than yeah. you. Then the next year you'd, you'd have a up. growth spurt. So it was, it was actually strange for me because one year you play point guard, the next year you're playing center. Know, yeah. <laughs> and that's why probably you played ice hockey, which is uh, very physical, right? Right, right. That's why you're at home with the PBA. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. see, uh, they're uh, not very, uh, uh, they're very similar uh, in terms of physicality, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you don't get mad uh, easily. Especially, uh, my brother ended up playing in the NHL. He played a couple of games, right? Oh, okay. My, my, my oldest brother, but he was known as an enforcer. Like, he is a fighter, right? Mm -hmm. So, me growing up playing, people, it's the same last name, obviously. Like, yeah. guys <laughs> would want to fight me, right? <laughs> I would take the challenge, I mean. Uh. Uh, Let's pick on the little funny, brother. Yeah. Let's pick on his the really tough guy's little brother. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. he's probably not tough. Like they don't fight at home, right? Yeah. But uh, yeah, hockey and lacrosse, I got in a lot of fights, man. So it's so funny to me when because each team has like an agitator, like a like a bull belga, you know, <laughs> something. Someone oh, you know tries to get guys. in your head. Yeah, a bueva. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like, I, it really doesn't bother me. It might look like it does, but it really doesn't. Like it just really, you just threw a hueva. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just got. Yeah, no, because he was holding me. He was holding me. It wasn't anything he was saying. You know, uh -huh, uh -huh. like uh, a lot of guys will get in your head, like, "Oh, you're not like you know." Mm -hmm. I don't know what they say because I I don't say it. I yeah, yeah, <laughs> try to let yeah. the you know the play speak for itself. But yeah, yeah. So you really, don't really get irritated. No, those, not really, not yeah. really. Well, so what, you can't blame those guys. I mean, they're <laughs> what? They're about six two, and they're trying to stop you or guard you. Yeah. <laughs> and, that's the only way they know how. I mean, yeah. how else can you can you? Yeah, you have to yeah. tell us how, to how they can yeah, guard Yeah, how, how if you would guard yourself? How would you guard yourself? Because we need to know and tell our coach. Well, you gotta have someone. <laughs> you, I don't. 
you gotta find some unlimited guy to come in. <laughs> maybe some wrestler or something. I don't know. Uh, or maybe we can football just, player. Oh yeah, maybe we could just ask you nicely since we're we're feeding yeah. you right yeah. now, right? <laughs> you can make a make a deal. So far, Liam, well, one the player that's impressed you the most from your team and from the opposing teams. From what you've seen. Hmm. We're local. Man, I'm so impressed with a lot of the guys on my team, man. Mm -hmm. um, Guys that are playing, I would say, I'd say JC in Tatang. Just because yeah. didn't, just, didn't you work out with JC yeah. in Yeah, yeah. Um, JC was the only one I knew before I got here. Mm -hmm. um, we worked out in Vegas too uh, last summer. But I mean, just, just because of his work ethic though, before practice, after practice, yeah. you know, early, always just, just a real, like, not to say that the other guys aren't professional, but he's just a, real, a pro's pro, I like to call mm -hmm. these guys. It's like, uh, I don't know if you guys remember Paul, Paul Harris, mm -hmm. he played yeah. for Talking oh, Tech. Yeah. Yes, yes. So he was my roommate in the D-League, and it was the same thing. He was always early, always extra shots, always stretching, uh -huh. doing the extra things, you know, a real... So I always speak very highly of, uh, of Paul, too, just because he taught me so much about being professional. Like, yeah. you know, a lot of guys, they're playing, and they get by just on how, how good they Skills. are. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. But a real professional athlete, they do the extra things, you know, because that's, that is your job. Like, yeah. a lot of the guys forget that their job really is to be, a, you know, a pro basketball yeah. player, so... Uh -huh. Um, but like guys that maybe are impressing me even more is guys that aren't getting a chance to play as much. Like uh -huh. we have uh, five reserves that these guys go so hard in practice, man. Yeah, yeah. And I think one of them is about to get a chance to come because uh, we had the injury with Carlo. It's him. Uh -huh. So he, so one of them, I don't know who they're gonna choose because these guys all go so hard. Uh -huh. They all deserve to play. Yeah. Um, uh, on the other team, someone who's really impressed me. You know what? It, 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 it's kind of biased, but maybe my old point guard, uh, Sia Ando, for Morocco. Oh, because okay. Oh, you played with him? Yeah, he played with me in Canada. Like, we both just came from a team. Oh, yeah, that's in, right. Uh, same team? Same team. Oh, okay. But, but what's, what's uh, so nice uh, in Sia's game, I'm seeing him adjust to this game. Like, from what, when we're playing in Canada and the, the physicality there and, and what was required from, like, what the team needed from him there mm -hmm. compared to his role now and like, how he's adjusted, I think it's like a high maturity level for him, you know, it's, uh, it's nice because he's only 22 years old and he's, I can oh, see yeah. the growth already and he's, uh, yeah. played well. Yeah, he's played really well. impressed. Played well against man. us. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everybody plays well against us. <laughs> Seemingly. Yeah, and, and in, in Canada, would you, how would you compare uh, your league over there to, to the PBA? Um, that Canadian league is, uh, I didn't even know too much about it before I played in it this year. But, um, <laughs> Four years old only, uh -huh. you know, PBA is oh, 40 years old. It's new. It's very new. It's a baby compared to this league. Uh, you also have American imports coming in? or Yeah, that's what I was going to explain. The, it only requires to have three locals, so only three Canadians on oh, each team. Okay. So it really is all Americans. I see. Uh, so it's the closest comparison that I could um, say to the D-League because, I mean, that's the only time where you're getting that many Americans that are allowed to play at once. Yeah. You know, there's teams, they sign three Canadians and there's some teams that don't use them at all. They're uh -huh. just, just to fit the requirement, you know. Uh -huh. But our, our team actually start well, we started, well, I started and, and Sia started and we had a Puerto Rican player, Kevin Young. Uh -huh. um, so really our team was like the international team. Uh -huh. uh, all the other teams started Americans, but our, we, had, we only had one American start. So uh -huh. um, it's, 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 it's a tough league. People don't give it a lot of respect, but I mean, when you're, anytime where you're playing with that many Americans, it's, it's tough, man. It's a lot of athleticism, a lot of, a lot of speed, a lot of power, it's, it's tough. How I, many teams? How many teams in? Uh, there's only eight teams. Eight, eight teams. teams. Oh, yeah. And so how they're, long they're do you adding play? two more, I think, for next year. How long do you play in a year? Uh, I joined the team for the last ten games. We won ten straight going mm -hmm. into the playoffs. But uh, I think they played maybe twenty games before that. I think thirty games season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, five or six months. Wow. I and read then, somewhere that um, you know you wanted to win a championship here. Yeah. Because you were robbed. Right. Yeah. Me and C. <laughs> in and, Canada. Me and C were, yeah, we were we were basically robbed. I mean, what we, happened uh, there? What happened there? Well, we're in the finals, so you know it's best of seven. Okay. And, uh, you know, the games that we're winning, we're up by 20, 30. Okay. Uh, they were winning games with four or five, you know. So they were barely beating us, uh -huh. but the fouls crazy, like 50 shots to uh -huh. 20. Like, it was unbelievable, the games that we lost, right? Yeah. But, uh, so going into game seven, that morning in the shoot-around, mm -hmm. I get attacked by their coach. You, what? Yeah. Is, I got, is I got, their coach also a seven-footer? He, For no, him to attack you? <laughs> former NBA player, though. He's a pretty big guy, 6'7", Bill who Jones. Bill Jones. Bill Jones. Uh, I'm not sure who he played for. 
Why? But I mean, there was a there was an mm -hmm. altercation there, then there was an altercation with the players, and then all the players got into it. You know, as soon as you see one of your teammates, this was in before a game seven. This is in the shoot around. So what shoot around? Yeah. And there were, and no there were threats and all this stuff from the other team. So our coach decided that it was was not safe for us to play that day. So we were driving back to Toronto on a bus, and then we hear, oh. Halifax have forfeited the game and we apparently lost the championship. Was this game seven in a best of seven? Best of seven. Finals. Wow. This is so game they seven. just awarded the championship? They awarded the championship to the other team. So that's why we feel like it was taken, right? It could have yeah. been, the game could have been rescheduled. People yeah. could have calmed down their nerves. Uh -huh. Well, it must have been really heated because it happened before, <laughs> it, during the shoot around. Right, right. Which was unheard of. Yeah, this is 9 a.m. and the game was supposed to be for four or five, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. So before that, there were really a lot of, were there a lot of incidents during the series? There was a lot of, of dirty calls or, or dirty plays that led uh -huh. up to, led up to that. Like we had submitted a video to FIBA and everything uh -huh. to see if something would be done. Like guys were getting kicked out of the games for like intentional fouls and then they're playing the next game. Like, oh, okay. The, 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 the sanctions weren't fitting of the, oh, you know, of the, of the crime, oh. <laughs> you know, because it was. Uh, so that's good. why you got used to the welcome, uh, the Filipino welcome given yeah. to you by Belga and Abueva. Yeah, I mean, that was, that was, that was Normal. easy. Yeah, that was easy, huh? Wow. Yeah, it was a really, really, uh, really rough series that we went through. We had two guys on our team get concussions throughout the, you know, had to get rushed to the hospitals yeah. during the game. Like, they were intending to hurt us, you know, uh -huh. they were intending to injure us. So uh -huh. anytime where it, it comes to that, it's not basketball anymore, right? Uh -huh. it's, Speaking of um, um, the Filipino welcome, yeah. yeah, the Filipino welcome. There's talk about just chatter about we'll you. Um, if you would be interested in playing for wow. Gilas, and maybe we can talk about yeah. that. I know nothing. Going on a hanging question here. Now we'll we'll take a short break and. Uh, lang muna natin to. Oh, oh we'll, ako, bro. Para we Liam can it. can eat some more. Yeah. We'll try to fatten him up before we play them. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, natin if he can be a future naturalized Filipino player, okay? All that when the brochure returns. All right, welcome back. And oh, mm. grabe. The food is great here. Huh? Great, really yeah. good. Really good, huh? So uh, always order this after your practice, huh? Uh, this is good for your health. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Just uh, before our game. And right now, okay, may hanging question tayo. Mm -hmm. All right, you, you, you've seen our, our national cadet team competing in the Southeast Asian game, but that's the cadet, cadet team, right? The uh, Gilas team competed in the World Cup of basketball. And there have been talk um, and uh, Articles over the internet and papers that you are being considered as a naturalized uh, to be naturalized right. play for us in the future. Yeah, would you be open to that? I would. I'm. I think that whole thing is very exciting. Mm -hmm. um, anytime you get the chance to play on a national level, I mean, uh -huh. you can't you can't turn that down. I mean, uh -huh. And uh, maybe if it was a country where I didn't like the like the food and the people, <laughs> I mean, like Iceland, like I even played Iceland. State. <laughs> no. So that means you, no, you, you, you like it here, the I, Philippines? I really do, I really do. What, I mean, were you surprised man, that of how it is in the Philippines? Uh, a little bit. I mean, everyone from back home is like, you're going to love it, you're going to love it, right? Mm -hmm. But in the, the, the only comparison I have to another Asian country is Taiwan, where I played last year. Mm -hmm. I just, no offense to the Taiwanese, man, uh -huh. but I just, it's so much easier, the day-to-day -day things here. Uh -huh. um, just with the amount of people that can speak English well, you know? Yeah. I mean, I would get in cabs in Taiwan and have everything translated on my phone, and all my teammates they wrote it in for me to, and get, still to show them. And then the guy would be like, "No, <laughs> I'm like, man, I just need to go to the grocery store." <laughs> how about uh, how about uh, the Filipinas? Yeah. Well, what do you mean? Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you mean you mean the women? Yeah. Oh, oh they're beautiful. They're beautiful. Uh -huh. Oh man. Yeah, because uh, uh, we also have a, we used to have a plan. Yeah. Yes, oh. uh, we actually. Uh, we have a long-term plan for the benefit of Philippine basketball. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. What? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I think I have an we idea. Actually, <laughs> we actually wanted to uh, have the uh, uh, NBA All-Stars. Yeah, because they were here once. They yes. the All-Stars. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I heard Done in Boracay. And all the, in yeah. Boracay. You know? mm -hmm. We're going to send them and, there. Yeah. And so send that, them there. Uh, I think. Give them so. some rum. <laughs> <laughs> so in, the, in a decade or so, 
yeah. we, uh, two decades. In yeah. two decades, decades we're yeah. ready to compete. Uh, one and a half, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We will have a little Pepe McMorrows uh, <laughs> oh, man. Uh, running around and, uh, you know, might be uh, seven foot players for uh, right. the Philippines. But the problem is. <laughs> what? In grade school, they're only going to be five feet. Right, they're going to be they're going to be late bloomers, man. <laughs> yeah, we'll we got to just train them from when they're young. Yeah, okay. But, but that's very interesting, you know. That right now we have Andre Blatch, mm -hmm. we have Mark Stoutip. Uh, I don't. Know, Andre Blatch might be, you know, he, he has a big contract in China. In China. Yeah, but yeah, I think he already right. said that he he's going to play in the FIBA the qualifiers. Yeah, qualifiers for oh. the um, yeah Olympics. Yeah, but you know, because that's how you impressed everybody here, right, everyone yeah. here, um, uh, with your athleticism and with your just with your activity. Be, we don't usually see it as Big I, guys, as I mentioned. Yeah, guys, yeah. your height be that active all, at, on the floor, and uh, you're doing wonders for Baraco. I yeah, mean, you, you transform them into a, a contender, and you know you're trying to do something that hasn't been done before. Yeah, <laughs> with the, with this with this franchise. Well, before when they were Red Bull, yes, yes but not. But that's in the, been a while. That's been a while. Right. And uh, do you feel any pressure? Uh, no, not really. I mean, coming in, I didn't know the the history of Baraka before I got here. But when I got here, and everyone's like, "Oh, you know, we're an underdog team," I wasn't like that was exciting. You know, because mm -hmm. underdog, it's like if a good team beats an underdog team, okay, you're supposed to beat yeah. them, you know? The underdog w it wins and we won four and then, you know, we're, we're at six wins right now. I mean, that's, it's just great. I, everything we do is, is good, yeah. you know? So it's far from a, above expectation. Yeah, so underdog situation is, is, is almost like welcomed. Like, mm -hmm. it's like, it's a good situation, I think. Yeah. 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 It's uh, the same thing when I got to Halifax, really, in, in uh, yeah. Canada. Yeah, they, they weren't doing well. They had a, uh, they were 500, the record, right? Mm -hmm. And then we won 10 straight. So uh -huh. we ended up fin finishing at the top of the conference and then that yeah. helped us for playoff standings. And yeah. it was good. So it's been a good experience for you so far. I mean, playing 100 games so far. Uh, right. And you've been in, in teams that have been uh, winning. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, oh, yeah. even yeah, even in college, uh, we were one game away uh, from playing in the in the tournament my senior year, but it was when uh, Kenneth Fareed, you know, from the, yeah. From yeah. the Nuggets, yeah, he was on the opposing team. <clears throat> And he just proved to be too much. I think they beat us by three or something with, mm -hmm. with his free throws at the end. And oh, that, have wow. you ever won a championship in basketball? No. 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 So that's, that's one of the things that's that... That's my main goal, yeah. yeah. Everywhere I go, I want to win. Uh -huh. But winning the championship is like... But you were the, almost that thing. Like you said, you got robbed. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You were almost there. Yeah. And like when I was with Marquette, we went to the tournament, Sweet 16 and all that stuff. But I wasn't... Because I wasn't allowed to play... Uh -huh. You, were, you didn't feel like you were part of the it's team. It's like you're a reserve player, right? Like you practice. Mm -hmm. I helped all the guys get, get better, I yeah. feel. You uh -huh. know, I helped them prepare for other seven-footers uh -huh. that they would play. But, you know, I got a ring from all that. But it's not the same, you know. Mm -hmm. It's not the same. Okay. And you mentioned earlier that uh, you lost that game against Ken Farid on free throws. Right? Oh, <laughs> uh, Who has been teaching you your uh, how to shoot free throws? Uh, Coach Art. Coach Art. Uh, oh. Coach Art, yeah. Art De La Cruz? <laughs> yeah, yeah. My he, uh, you know that they're... he works with me every day after like extra time at, uh, really? after the practice, yeah. To, to, uh, and how has your free throws improved? I think I think it's improved because uh, like like when I'm looking at the, the nine games, you know, I start off not so bad, but and then it really dips uh -huh. for a couple games, and then it, it's it's kind of getting better. So. Have you heard yeah. of the Richard Del, Del Rosario School of Free Throws? No, 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 because that's a very elite school and it will take you from better to perfect. Perfect. It's yes. School of free throws. School I, of free UFT. Uh, what is the nickname uh, of Richard? Uh, huh? What, 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 the Richards, what's, what usually is their nickname? Oh, no, no. Uh, char <laughs> You're not char getting Chard? <laughs> chard? No. Huh? No. I know what, what? you mean. <laughs> chard. School of free throws. Soft. <laughs> But if you want to get serious yeah. with your free throws, you he, need to talk to me. Him and right. Coach Art also work on um, their, their tweaking. But I can only teach you after our game. After and I game. cannot teach you before our right, game. Right, right. You know, yeah, because uh, we're in the brink <laughs> of being eliminated. Yeah. Free throws have proved to be really important, I mean, for me, because it's like... I get fouled a lot, right? Yeah. So yeah. The other game, I, I went 22 times at the free throw line. Like, 22 yeah. times. Oh, wow. 19 for 22. 
Wow. Coach Art, Coach Art, Coach Art. You want to be 22 out of 22? Yeah, 22. <laughs> Perfect. I'm the guy. I'm the guy. <laughs> wow. Over the hump. <laughs> to get over that little hump. Yeah. Well, it's been a, a pleasure talking to Liam. And, and Liam, once again, we'd like to thank you for for uh, joining the Bro Show. Yeah, thanks and, for having me. Uh, would, you know, it's a pleasure also for us. Mm -hmm. to thank you to, um, uh, of course, uh, Livestock. Livestock. Yes, uh, to the owners Miko Uy and Ching Magdaal. Ako, napakasarap po na pagkain dito mm -hmm. sa, sa Livestock. Delicious. So yeah. check them out, Livestock Restaurant and Bar, 34 Sergeant Esguera, South Triangle, Quezon City. At uh, tikman niyo po yung the best crispy pata in town and of mm -hmm. course all their other dishes. Yeah, and Liam, would you like to uh, send a shout out to all the Baraco uh, fans? Yeah, Baraco fans, keep supporting us. I know we've uh, dipped down a bit, but we're going to be back on the winning uh, the winning circle soon. And, <laughs> and uh, Next game, not the next next. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Only. Go Baraco. Go Baraco. <laughs> Go Baraco. <laughs> all right, so uh, thank you very much, bros. And uh, next week, kita kita ulit oh, tayo, no? Yeah. We'll, we'll uh, uh, try to get more guests. Yung mga gusto nyo, sa, sa Twitter, sa... Yeah, just let us know. Just oh. let us know. Um, our handles have been on the screen, yes. so you can... Uh, request nyo lang. Yeah, request nyo lang. Pero okay, baka sa... next week, tatry natin yung mga, ano, yung mga gold medalists natin sa Yes, TV. yes, tama yung gold medalists. Oh. No? Tsaka syempre, sa sports5.ph. Check nyo lang. Lahat ng mga episodes na na-miss nyo dito sa Bro Show. So, let's continue eating. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah man. Once again, Bye, bros. Bye, bros. Thank you. See you next time.